how's it going? Today we're going to be doing a little review on this Van Gogh watercolor palette. This is the Pocket Sketchbox um, palette. I know they have quite a few different ones. It's by Royal Talons and I'm not too familiar with the brand to be honest, but um, I have heard great things about this palette and I wanted to give it a try. So we're going to be checking it out today. As you can see, I've already kind of dove into it. Um, I wanted to test it out before I um, reviewed it. I did notice it did come with this uh, sticker that was on, I don't even know if you're going to be able to see this, but this sticker was on top of the uh, watercolors and basically it talks about the light fastness, which in this case, they're all three stars or three um, plus signs. So the colors that come in here are Chinese white, permanent lemon yellow, azo yellow medium, permanent red light, matter lake deep, ultramarine deep, cerulean blue, sap green, viridian, Haynes gray, yellow ochre, and burnt sienna. The colors in here are very nice. I especially love this blue here. Um, it's kind of like a gray blue. And it does come with this little um, retractable uh, paintbrush. This paintbrush, basically, you just pop it off and then you can stick it in like this. And I was using this paintbrush yesterday. It's already kind of got uh, some paint stains on it, but I was using this paintbrush yesterday to try it out and I really love it. I find it actually holds a surprising amount of water and the tip is very nice too. It's a very fine point um, on the end there. So I really like this paintbrush. I definitely think I'll use it a lot, not just with this palette, um, but it is like the perfect size for the palette as well. So I was really impressed by this brush. So the first thing that I noticed about these paints is that they're very, very creamy. It doesn't really take that much water to get them activated. Um, as soon as you sort of put a little bit of water on there, they're just instantly like a beautiful, creamy, sort of silky um, paint. And I noticed a huge difference between this palette and the Winsor & Newton Coatman watercolor palette, uh, the Sketchbox version. Um, where I found that I had to use a lot of layers in order to get a sort of vibrant color, whereas with this palette, um, the colors are just so beautiful and really like silky and nice. I also really like that it comes with these wells here, um, and you have six of them. With the Winsor & Newton one, um, or other sort of sketchbox watercolor palettes, I've noticed that they only have three, or it's just like one big area where you can mix. And I, I don't really enjoy using them because I just find them very small and restrictive. But this one is really nice because you have a lot of space there to work with. Um, and it does also hold the paintbrush in there when you retract it. <laughs> like this. Uh, I'm always scared I'm going to like mess up the... There we go. Um, so yeah, it does just hold the paintbrush right in there and it actually like snaps into place which is nice as well. The other thing that I like about this palette is that it closes really nicely so um, when you close it there's just like a little tab here where you can push it to open and then it just kind of like snaps closed so you know that it's not going to open up in your bag. So overall I'm very very impressed with this palette. I think I'm definitely going to be using it throughout my illustrations whether I'm on location or not. Um, I really enjoy using them. I think they're very high quality. Um, I think this palette was around $40 Canadian. Um, it was from the UK and I got it on Amazon so I'll try to find a link and leave it below for you to find it as well. Um, but I definitely think it's a great investment. The colors are beautiful, they're very rich, they're very easy to mix. I personally tend to gravitate towards using gouache like a watercolor more than watercolors themselves because I find that I don't typically enjoy having to use so much water in my illustrations um, and I like to have a bit of a richer color but in this case I find that the colors are very very rich and I would actually use this alongside my gouache paintings I think on a daily basis 
Um, so this is definitely a great investment if you're thinking about it. Um, I highly recommend. And yeah, I hope that was helpful. And if you have any questions, just let me know in the comments and I will gladly answer them. Um, and I hope you enjoy this palette if you got it. And if you're thinking about it, I definitely recommend that you try it out. Um, and thank you so much for watching. Please like this video if you found it helpful and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye.